this is your daily briefing and you are most welcome to it. I'm going to take a look at this weekend's Plausible 11 um, to take on Crystal Palace at the weekend. Um, but just a brief word on the, the Brazilian bungle that we've endured over the last uh, couple of weeks. This situation can't happen again and the, the way round that is to make sure that any reasonable requests for um, absenteeism it's all centred, it's a box ticking exercise centred around the welfare of the player. And that means ensuring that what this government guidelines are and foreign governments and FIFA's, all those ducks are in a row. So we don't get people just wandering in and out of Hotspur Way holding up mobile phones saying, oh, I've just had a text from the Argentinian Football Federation. No, 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 no. We'll have protocols in place. It gets signed, it gets rubber stamped um, once everything's been checked and then you're very welcome to go. But we can't go through this thing. We've got three players quarantined for no good reason in my book. I mean, good reason as far as, you know, the health authorities are concerned, but they shouldn't have gone. Um, so the knock-on effect of that leaves us with um, looking a little bit light at the back. That means I would expect Matt Doherty to appear in a right-back slot. That would be his first Premier League starting put slot um, under his old gaffer since the pair of them joined the club. Um, midfield, I don't want to see Harry Winks, but I think it's going to be too early to bring back uh, Oliver Skip. He had ice on his groin, listed on the Premier League site as a 25% chance of making the game. Might be a late fitness test, but a part of me is more concerned with bringing him back gently rather than rushing him and making things worse. Um, I think Nuno's going to pick Winksy. There's, the, the, the options are too closed and... It, it kind of terrifies me because he's neither a defensive midfielder or an attacking midfielder. He's he's just lacks inspiration. But we've covered that, so I'm not going to moan and on and on. My take on Sonny was that his exclusion from the South Korean squad was simply precautionary and I'd expect him to start. Harry Kane definitely got the scent of blood whilst on international duty. And this might be a suitably cheery time to point out that Palace are winless in their last 12 meetings with Spurs. And we've only failed to score in one of our last dozen games against this lot. Spurs on balance should edge this, but I'll go through some stat stuff and give you a proper prediction um, in the next clip, which is coming up later on this afternoon. Good luck. Keep it Tottenham.